You want to get NeoForge mods in Minecraft 1.21.10? Here's how. First, go to the second link down below. Everything we talk about is going to be linked down below in the description. That way you can easily access everything. Once you're there, go ahead and click Download NeoForge to go to the official download page. On this page, make sure 1.21.10 is selected, which it is, and then go ahead and click here to download the installer. That's actually what the button is called. Click here to download the installer. When you do, the download will begin. You will need to keep or save this file. And while it's downloading, have a quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start a NeoForge server and start playing NeoForge with your friends. It's super quick and easy to start getting a NeoForge server up and running. And you can even add NeoForge mod plaques with just a few clicks. And let's say there's an issue. You add a mod, something's not working. There's expert live chat support there to help you out to make sure your server is exactly as you want it. So check out Simple Game Hosting, the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz sgh and start your NeoForge server the simple way. Nevertheless, we also want to get some mods most likely. CurseForge and Modrinth are the two most popular places to do that. You can filter on these for NeoForge and the 1.21.10 version. Only mods with these specs, NeoForge and 1.21.10, will work. Older mod versions won't work. Other mod loaders like Fabric will not work and even Forge itself won't work. It has to be for Neo Forge. Let's go ahead and grab just enough items here. Just enough items is obviously a super popular mod and we can go ahead and click on files and make sure we are downloading that 1.21.10 Neo Forge version right here. Now before you download it I always recommend clicking on a Neo Forge mod or any mod you're downloading on Curse Forge and making sure you go to related projects because here let's say there's a mod that's required for this mod to work. They're called dependency mods. You will need to download that as well. Now this one doesn't have it but we're going to go ahead and just click download and the download will begin after a few seconds. The same goes for Modrinth. We can filter for 1.21.10 and Neo Forge, and then we can download mods here for example. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab Xero's world map. The reason I'm doing this because if we go to versions we grab that 1.21.10 Neo Forge version here. We will be able to see that this has a dependency. It's open parties and claims is an optional dependency. It's not required, but it's something that you need in order to make sure things work. And we can go ahead and click download here and this version will begin keeping or saving it. Now we need to get NeoForge itself installed. That's of course gonna be found in your downloads folder and we can go ahead and open it up. Just right click on NeoForge, click open with and then Java. But what if you don't have Java here? In that case, you want to make sure you get Java 21. Link down below, of course. We can go down and click download. And then we just want to go to Windows and grab this x64 installer. Then it installs just like any other program. You may also need to run the jar fix, but first get Java. Then we can finally right click on NeoForge, click open with, and click Java if you didn't have Java before. Just click install client, click proceed, and it will work. The only reason you would have issues if a Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, those need to be closed. You also need to have ran Minecraft 1.21.10 before. Just open it up to the main menu and close out of it. But as you can see here, it has now successfully installed. We can click OK. It will close out of that, and we can delete NeoForge. Now what we want to do is go ahead and install these Minecraft mods. To do that, go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, go to installations up here at the top. Then you have this NeoForge installation. Hover over it and click the folder icon. Now you want to find your mods folder. If for whatever reason you don't have one, just make one and open your mods folder. Drag and drop any NeoForge mods you want to install right here in the mods folder. It's that easy. Now go ahead and close out of the mods folder and play Minecraft using your NeoForge installation. Now Minecraft will open up and your mods will be installed. We can see this right in the mods section on the main menu. We have Xero's minimap and just enough items, but obviously these work in game as well. Xero's world map working by just clicking M and opening up the world map and just enough items by hitting E and seeing it on the right hand side. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. I'm out. Peace.